We just pulled into camp. I ain't been able to film much because of all the security and all that, but I do see Jeremy. What's up, How are you doing, brother? sir? How Good you to doing? see you. Good to see you. What do you think, Dave? I think this is great. We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, but in the middle of nowhere, Nebraska is a wonderful place to be. Lots of turf. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. How about that? That is our, <laughs> that is the honorable, great governor of Mississippi, Phil Bryant, and we're up here to kill turkeys. Kill turkeys. Absolutely. Right. One year in the making right here. We've been trying to get this done. He's so busy, he takes care of business so good, but he's here. Governor Ricketts from Nebraska's coming. Becky's here. Becky Humphrey's the CEO of the National Wild Turkey Federation. Brought him to my favorite place, and now the pressure's off me. It's all so, me. Now the pressure just got shifted, didn't it? It's it. Oh, it's the wind. Yes, sir. Big long day of travel. You hadn't traveled much this year. You agreed to come to this one. We're calling this one the Turkey Summit. It, close enough for me. Close enough for you. I have turkey world travel. That's it. First stop. No, we didn't. First stop. We just landed. I know. It took us 10 minutes to get to the mountain spot. We're already in the woods. So. Plenty warm enough, that's so, for sure. So far, so good. So far, so good. Well, what happened is we made a turkey gobble at the end of this field, way over to the left. And uh, we snuck up the wood line and we snuck up in here. Yep, yep, nothing. That turkey quit gobbling. He's probably got in. So I bet, I bet that didn't happen to you, but. Anyway, we got the two Jakes to gobble now. They're heading that way. So Jeremy, who's with us from the roost, he's going to climb up way up on top of that hill and see if that, what we think is a bigger turkey's gobbling. That was gobbling over there is probably strutting with some hens. So first stop, a little action, not nothing close, but hey, we just got here. Well, the first afternoon we got to strike a couple. We got one goblin, wouldn't come in. Jeremy put us on a turkey that had hens with it, mm -hmm. way too close to the roost and too close to roost time. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, that's our story, we're sticking to it. It was kind of a bonus hunt anyway, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. We didn't expect to get up today anyhow, yeah. the way we were. But it's all good, we're at the roost. You never say never at the roost, especially when you got Jeremy with you. Now, Jim, that's a whole nother deal, but <laughs> anyway, tomorrow's another day. You'll have a game plan about supper time? Oh, we have a game plan. You already have a game, plan. have a game plan. That's what I'm talking about. Where so. are we heading next tomorrow? To ground we haven't hunted all year. Doesn't have a Yelp mark on it. Okay, I'll know when I get there. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> You know, I, I've hunted birds and other wildlife my entire life, but I have to say turkey hunting is my absolute favorite. And it is, you know, it is the thrill of getting out there before daybreak, of hearing that first gobble on the roost, hearing those birds fly down, 
being able to call them in, you know, using the decoy, using the calling, the challenge. I don't think there's any better adrenaline rush than hearing a bird come in and, and trying to get them in there and the anticipation that comes with it. Here's the deal. We went back and fueled up, got some coffee and some beef jerky, and we waited out the lull. We came back to uh, Jeremy and CJ's honey hole. We were sneaking up to take a peek and they heard one gobble on his own. So life is good. We're fixing to go over and set up and we bleep him up. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. Go get him. It's a little windy. We're in Nebraska. <laughs> You know, here in Nebraska, you can see big vistas and you can see birds in various areas. And um, we came across a, an area that had a nice, nice hummocky hill, hill that had some brush and scrubs and a few trees on it. And lo and behold, here was a, a long beard that was displaying up there. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And that was awesome. That was a uh, typical example of his window was open. His window was open and so was ours. Our spirits were low. <laughs> our spirits. But our spirits are high now. That great shot. You had no room. Had I know. And luckily, time. I was waiting for that one more step and a head out. So it was great. How about BJ? That's what we're talking awesome. about. awesome. Thank you, you guys. That's BJ. That He's been our guy for a couple of days. We were not going to say no. He's been glass and going down the road. How far away did we see this turkey? Uh, oh. He was probably half a mile or better away yeah. when we first saw him. Oh my goodness, look, I at, bet. That, look at that tail He's fan. Aren't they, aren't they pretty? So much oh, contrast. Oh, 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 oh. Holy cow. Buddy. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> love it, bro. <laughs> love it, love it. Well, we're kind of down to the wire at the turkey summit. And everybody's killed a turkey, but the two governors who the turkey summit was all about. Oh, yeah. Governor? Was right on that edge. The yeah. mood changed in 12 hours. Oh, it did. The last 12 hours have been really good. One, and almost uh, last night at 7 p.m., this morning at 7 a.m. Boom, 12 Boom, hours. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, the first part of this hunt, I was a little uh, down in the dumps. A little slow, but, yeah. you know, uh, it, it, the fun part is when you finish strong like this. That's and, right. Uh, 